Hey guys, Mike from Three Kingdoms here. I'm going to do a tutorial on playing MathFlux. Uh, it's one of the newer Flux games that we have in store. It plays just like regular Flux with a twist. So we'll start off with the basics on Flux. Flux only involves a very basic set of rules. Just draw one and play one. That's it. Draw three cards and at the beginning of your turn you can draw one and play one action. From there, you're going to have new rules that come into play, such as draw four or play four. I'm just going to use those as examples, but they will increase your draw and play. Uh, from there, um, your objective is to try and get to a particular goal. So this would be an example of a goal card. Goal card 42 requires that you have keepers that let you get there, namely four and two. Once you get to that level, you automatically win the game. Uh, this is one element of getting to the goal 42. But because this is math flux, there's more to it than that. Um, we'll get into that in a second. Out of the card types that we have, we've got the new rules, the goal, the keeper, and then there are action cards, such as draw three cards or trash a new rule. These are the four card types that you'll see, and there's you know, all sorts of variations which you'll see throughout the deck. Now for the element that's involved with math flux. So your objective here can be just matching the four and the two and hitting your goal but there is other rules that are in the game specifically for Math Flux, such as the victory rules. You have plus times and combo victories. I'm trying to get them all on the screen here. These victories enable you to either take 42 and simply go by uh, adding them together. Um, I'll use the multiply, such as six times seven would also win you for times or you can do a combo victory. And a combo victory can be something like two times three times seven would also get you there. And that's how these rules work within the deck. But one of the methods we like to play specifically is something known as a meta rule. So I'm gonna take these out, we're gonna remove the plus in times, and we're gonna add the meta rule. Meta rule means that these rules combo victory are always in effect so no matter what you're playing this is what will always be in effect there's a secondary rule that we have as well it is called grafting I'll squeeze them all in here grafting involves something where you're trying to get to a certain number so if I had 42 I could use the 4 and the 2 for the win but if we're playing with the meta rules getting a 4-2 is only going to get you an alternate draw 3 cards it doesn't win you the game you need to get something with an equation that's involved. So grafting would make me graft 40 together and I would add two to it. So that alone, 40 plus two, would get me the uh, win condition. But let's take it a little bit further. What if we did say 50? Okay, with 50, I could take 48 again and we could add two to it. Or we could go further than that. And what if we took 24? 24 times, sorry, I'm just looking at the numbers here to try and get this to work. Forty-two grafted times forty forty-two grafted plus eight would get me fifty. Or if we did another one such as three quarters for seventy-five, and we could do a graph of twenty-five times three. There's so many variations that you can possibly do with this. Um, that the game is always exciting. It's whether or not you can see the, the numbers when you have plenty of keepers in play to try and look at what number or equation that you can make. Um, so it really racks your brain. Um, this is something that we play regularly in store. Uh, if you happen to swing by sometime, um, just hit me up or another staff member and we'll be happy to uh, play with you in store. Uh, fun little game. Uh, hope you uh, give it a try sometime. Well, that's a tutorial for Maxflex. Thanks for watching.